real pleasure uh, to be here with uh, Learn. And uh, I guess the best way to top that is to be more brief. Uh, and so I will. Um, but it's really a pleasure. Uh, I have this position as really a privilege of public service. Uh, I work for you uh, in, in the public interest uh, to turn discovery science into health. Uh, and as part of our mission, uh, a key part of that is that we can't fulfill it without partners. Uh, we are blessed that uh, we get appropriated uh, funds, part of your tax dollars. And uh, you, you met with two of the chairpersons of our appropriations committee today. And so it's really with that bipartisan support that we have the funds that we uh, have to then invest in some exciting science that we hope will transform the lives of patients affected uh, with lymphatic disorders. Um, that is our charge. What keeps us focused and excited is uh, I got to meet, uh, even this evening, Kelly, uh, uh, and uh, someone who has um, committed himself to, to service, Coast Guard, as I recall. Uh, and he's told me about his journey with lymphatic disorders. And it may, reminded me of why I do what I do. I'm a cardiologist by training. I actually study blood vessels for over 30 years. I don't look like I've been studying something for 30 years. You weren't supposed to laugh when I said that. Uh, but uh, I've been studying blood vessels. And in fact, we're part of the founding group of vascular medicine at Stanford. Some of you may know Stan Roxon, uh, who was part of that same group. And so I'm familiar uh, with patients uh, who suffer from lymphedema. Uh, so as part of this privilege of public service, uh, caring for patients, this is something personal. Uh, and that's why we're, we're passionate about what we do uh, and committed uh, to making a difference. Uh, I'm also very excited because I think this is a great uh, moment uh, in our understanding of those blood vessels. Just one uh, uh, example of an investment that we're making, uh, it's called HubMap, and it stands for Human Biole Biomolecular Atlas. That sounds like a, a lot there. But we now have the technology to understand what differentiates the cell on your skin from, say, your heart cell. They all have the same 25,000 genes, but there's something that you know makes them very distinct biologically. We now have the technology to measure practically every molecule, every protein, metabolite, every transcript of that genome in every cell. And we're embarking at NIH on a, on a project to map out every cell and all the molecules in it. And I know, Bill, you were talking about how um, the lymphatics have been ignored, had they been left off the map. Well, we're, we're committed now, and we're going to be sure that the, the lymphatics are part of that human map project, which is basically taking and creating almost a Google map for the body. Because it's, it's only when we understand how those vessels work, how they form, um, how they move fluids, how they contribute to tissue function, that we can actually start to, to think about the breakthroughs and treatments that will make a difference in your life. And so we're really just on the threshold of, I think, a very exciting time in science, and I think great opportunities uh, that we can invest in. And so we're looking forward to working with you as partners to make sure those investments are made and so that we can make a difference in the lives of the patients that are part of, of this group here. In fact, I gave an invitation to Kelly that we'd, we'd love to have him come uh, to our NIH campus. And, and okay, he's, he's all ready to sign up because we, we do need you in order to make those big leaps forward. You're part of this partnership and sharing uh, your stories, uh, sharing uh, your participation in these trials and studies is critical to, again, our mission of turning discovery science into health. So we appreciate the opportunity to be here. Thank you so much.